Yo, what's going on? Lockout men in the truck here with another podcast slash YouTube interview for you guys to enjoy. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. I tell you what, if you like this, yo, do your boy a favor and like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and or subscriber bell. Subscriber bell. Is that a word? Anyway, hit that subscriber bell for more content like this. Yo, in today's episode, man, I bring you a driver who's been through it all, but with the grace of God, still doing the damn thing out here, man. I mean, he had ups, he has downs, and he's just an all-around good dude. All-around good dude. Uh, I met this gentleman. He was. Uh, I met him through the Zello app. Uh, I think we was in, I forgot what rooms that we was in. It was so many Zello rooms that I was in at one time, but I met this gentleman and he had a, he had an awesome story to tell. And I reached out to him and asked him if he want to come and share it with us. So stay tuned as I chop it up with Prince Star. What's going on, guys? Lockout men in the building. I'm not in the truck this time. I'm on my home time for a little bit because, you know, Thanksgiving was yesterday and we got that good turkey, them dressings and all that other good stuff. I hope you guys had a had a nice time with y'all families as well. Well, check this out. Check this out. This episode of Lockout Men podcast, man. Look, I told you guys about him in the intro. You know, this is a good dude. I met him in, um, I, I forgot, like I said before, I forgot what Zello channel that I actually met this man in. But unfortunately, I don't do Zello no more. So, but this guy right here, he stood out to me. You know, he had a story, you know, he had a bad story about himself. And, you know, like I said, despite all his trials and tribulations, my man is still here doing the damn thing with us. Yo, I want you guys to put your hands together and welcome my man Prince Star to the show. What's going on with you, bro? All right, you say you got you say you got the Thanksgiving hangover right now, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. So, so how oh uh, you oh man, we haven't heard that in a minute. The itis. Mommy, I'm sleepy. Oh, don't worry about that, little baby. That's just the itis. The what? The itis. That's what you call it when you get sleepy after a big meal. Uh, oh, and rest 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 in peace to uh to John Witherspoon, grandpa. He's the one that coined the phrase the itis. You know what I'm saying? Is after you eat that good food and you just get yourself knocked out i think that's what happened to me last night you know i was over i was over my people's house last night and you know she knocked out that good dinner right quick and i got on the couch and we was watching some uh godfather and i was like <laughs> Dude, i was at the kitchen table while we played space <laughs> you just, and you just <laughs> hey let me go over there and see his car let's let's see his cars right quick what, what, what car has he got <laughs> 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 oh man so uh tell uh you know for my listeners that don't know who you are man go ahead and uh let them know you know give a snapshot of who you are right quick well once again my name is prince star go by the cb handle teddy bear or tb okay okay um been in the industry driving for 15 years okay um, okay but I grew up around trucks. I'm 36, so you might as well say I've been in 36 years. All right. So you say you uh you say you started and you know been in it for 15, but you've been in it for a long time. So you sort of kind of you sort of kind of got grandfathered in as far as learning how to drive a truck. But did you uh go to school? Did you go to a trucking company? Yeah. No, I went to um, I'm from Tennessee, so we had a technology school, uh, mm -hmm. Tennessee Technology School. I went to a six-week program there. Okay. Um, I had a choice between either there or Swift. Okay. Uh, that was pretty much when Swift had just uh, merged with MSK's two years after that. 
but uh, I want to get somewhere where I can get the attention that I needed, not knowing how to drive a stick. Right. Uh, they, um, we had a small enough class, you know, five people. And actually, it was four. I took it back. Uh, but got plenty of wheel time, time on the uh, back and pad. And questions that I had got answered. So I got the time, the experience I needed. Um, from there, I went on to uh, to work for Covenant Transport. How was how was your experience with uh, Covenant? Because I'm I'm hearing with Covenant Transport, man, I'm hearing so many <laughs> experiences with, with with them guys. <laughs> what, what was yours? You know what, man? Um, I loved it. You know, as far as getting the experience. You're going to get that because they, um, at the time, I had to do 21 days with a trainer, mm -hmm. test out, um, and then had to do a mandatory 30 days with a team partner. Okay, okay. Um, my partner and I, uh, we worked out for about two months. All right. And um, so y'all, y'all was y'all. It wasn't it wasn't trainer trainee then. It was just uh, partners. At at during that time, yeah, during during that time, once you finish your twenty one days and you test out, mm -hmm. you can go with a trainer. Mm -hmm. You can go with anybody you want. Okay. You just have to team for another thirty days. So with Covenant Transport, man, you you would like I said, I uh you know, hey, I I don't knock no companies, man. You know, I I do the call videos, so. I don't not know companies. If anybody interested in uh, Covenant Transport, definitely see what's up with them. But like I said, it's just your experience is not going right. to be everybody else's experience. So my man said he enjoyed it. it. I'm going to cut you off. I think what made it so bad for people uh, was the fact that you run a team for East Coast and West Coast. Okay. You know, so you're not really seeing the house. Okay. So that's that's what made a lot of people. I've seen a lot of people while I was there back out of it because of that. Okay, yeah, you they know, didn't know uh, they didn't want to do OTR all that hard like that. Yeah, OTR in New York City, LA to New York City. Oh man, <laughs> there was no way in between. Man, I feel it. I feel it. So. Where where did I what was Zello Channel man? What Zello Channel we 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 hooked up in man? I know I know it was a uh, I know it was a few, but uh, which which actual one was it? The one with uh with our girl, uh, what's her name? I can't I can't remember her name, but you got a story yeah. about that too when you went when you went with her to have her baby. What was her yeah, name? Yeah, Gigi. Gigi, yeah, 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 Gigi. La uh, I was actually yeah, the first day I met her was day she was having a baby. Yeah, yeah, it's Gigi. How, how can I forget about Gigi, man? That's <laughs> Gigi is a real one, man. She she's a real one. You still keeping in touch with her? Yeah, man. I saw Gigi and the baby not too long ago. Okay, yeah, um, she got a she she uh posted on her on her uh Facebook, you know, little little blue Cantana Blue, yeah. How can yeah. I forget? How can I forget that name, Cantana Blue? Cantana <laughs> Blue, yeah. Yeah, she. Uh, the story with her, man. She. Uh, she went to the hospital. Um, unfortunately, she didn't have that that much support. But we all we all got together. You know, uh, Lawrence Bell, good guy. Called you up and uh, asked you, would you go and uh, hang out with her until she had her baby? Would what? Would, tell tell us about that right quick. Oh man, you know what? I actually remember the day. Uh, I was actually out of town at the time as a doctor. Um, for you that don't know, I have one leg, mm -hmm. so you know it's kind of. Yeah, we'll we'll get into that story. Time, yeah, know. we'll we'll get into that yeah. story about what what happened to you on that front. But uh, yeah, he called me and I said, "Well, if she can hold off, <laughs> <laughs> can you hold up for a little two. bit?" <laughs> yeah. If she can <laughs> hold a baby in for an hour or two, you know, I check on her. Even though I had never met her at the time, um, 
I've, you know, been on the road and gotten sick and, and uh, had been in the hospital by myself. Mm-hmm. So, man, I didn't want that for nobody else. Even if I didn't know the baby, um, mm-hmm. I could leave sick and entertain her. Okay. You know? Okay. Yeah, so you went you went to the hospital that night and uh and boom, you know, went there for uh went there for support. So shout out to you for that, man. Um so what's up, man? Uh what what was about a time that that back in the day that you had no idea that you was gonna be driving a truck, man? What what was when was that time? Uh two thousand one. Okay. Okay. Two thousand one, man. I was a, a freshman in college. Mm-hmm. Full scholarships, playing football, singing in the choir, and um, was just having a good time, man. Mm-hmm. Messed around and broke my ankles. Um, messed them up, and football scholarship got re- reduced from one hundred percent down to twenty five percent. Right. Um. Had to go home. Live with my parents, and uh, that was cool. I had freedom, but when I started creeping up on twenty-one, you had to make some power moves. In. Yeah, you know, it, I was still in school, had a nice job, was working on Capitol Hill actually. But my parents were, you know, stay home, save your money, finish school. Right. I'm like, you know, I told my pops who was had driven since he had a career in war. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I needed something for myself. You know, I'm about to be 21. I want to I want to be able to say that I've stood on my own two feet. And um, he told me if he ever called me in a truck, he'll kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you end up being in the truck all, I mean, <laughs> you end up being yeah. in the truck anyway, huh? Yeah, I got in the truck, but I, I made my, my pops a promise that I would finish my degree. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but um, that's, that was a turning point. I, I pretty much grabbed my CDL the day I turned 21. Okay, and you uh, and you've been driving there since. So you've been with Covenant. What what other what other companies you uh, been with before you uh, <laughs> decide to make the power, make the big power move? Uh, let's see. I did uh, Covenant. Uh, I did Central Haulers, which is the least purchase side of uh, CalArt. Okay. Um, went on and did uh, Link America, that no longer existed. Okay. Um, Arnold bought them out, and then I left Link America. Went to uh, Martin. Learned a whole lot about the business aspect. Yeah, I heard Martin. I heard Martin was a was a good company to get with. Yeah, I I got greedy and uh, left there and went to Colonial Freight mm-hmm. out of uh, Knoxville. Just my opinion, worst mistake I ever made. <laughs> that was it. Wasn't a good move for you, right there, huh? Thirty-seven days. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 37 days bro. 37 days that's woo. Yeah, i hear you it must must have been real bad if you did only 37 days man that's crazy that well, is 37 crazy. days and i almost went to jail <laughs> <laughs> well i'm glad i'm glad that didn't happen man so you did from so from that point from that point on you you went owner operator uh owner, owner operator right what's what, what's the experience yeah. what what the experience what that was or is um, is like now well during the you know lease per- well i'm sorry central holland days i lease purchase mm-hmm. uh i actually became an owner operator the first time when i went to lake america okay uh it was very, it was very fun. You know, that was a different age of trucking at the time. Uh, but, you know, I tell anybody, if you go get in the trucking, you know, being on operator is not for everybody. Right, right. But at least try it, you know. Um, but since then, man, it's, it's been all good. 
knowing how to manage your business. You know, knowing that just because you got a three, four thousand dollar check, you're not gonna put that in your pocket. Right, right. That's the, that's the problem with some of these cats out here when they when they see that. Yeah. It's like it's like that little that little daughter or on the end of the fishing pole. You know what I'm saying? Right. You almost, almost there. Almost had it. Almost had it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you know, they, they, they dangle that in front of you and you'd be like, Oh, okay. Then you get that paycheck yeah. and you'd be like, Oh, oh that's going in my pocket. But then you realize that, you know, you got other expenses, you know what I'm saying? You got that maintenance, you got that truck payment, you got, you got all sorts of experience, uh, uh, expenses and then all of a sudden and then all of a sudden you look at the, look at your paycheck now it's like oh man is this shit yeah. worth it <laughs> so it's <laughs> so so you says so you say it's worth it though right it's worth it man um at the time of all this i was married when i first got married um ready made family man i had three children <laughs> wow yeah. Were, yeah. were they your kids <laughs> No, they're my babies, though, you know. I feel it, I feel it. Um, But one thing I had to learn was how am I going to keep the lights on that house but also keep the business going? Right. Uh, Because at the time, I was still young and learning how to manage my money. Okay. So I had to learn the recipe. Now, the recipe I learned from my old head. And the recipe is this. You get paid. Mm-hmm. You pay your truck first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No matter if you got a maintenance account with the company, you put you put money aside for the truck. Okay. Tenfold. You made four you made four thousand. You know, you put at least a thousand to fifteen hundred back for that truck. Okay. Okay. Break it down, bro. Then you then you put uh more money back. You put might put you about five, seven hundred dollars back into your savings account. Right. Not something that you could touch. Just that Mr. Hard Times fund is my mom and stuff. Okay. This this the out of sight, out of this the out of sight, out yeah. of out of out of mind fund. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You know, and and the last thing you need to do just pay yourself. Now that you know, well, now now on average, what, what what do you think of average should should I pay myself, man? What 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 should I pay myself? Because I was in business and I was paying myself. I, I don't think I was paying myself enough, man. I I probably might have to have an argument with myself. I had to go. I had to go to the office and look myself in the face, like, bro, you got to give me some more money, man. So <laughs> so what's what's right. the average what's the average to uh, pay yourself? What do you think? I was uh, I started out two hundred dollars a week. Oh, okay, okay. Like I said, it was a different time. Right. Um, back here before I got out the game, I was paying myself five hundred dollars a week. Okay, okay. Now with that five hundred, that included my uh, my coffee, my my snacks, okay, my my food, um. And just expenses, like you know, I might want to go buy. Video. Hold on, all the lockout fans already know this. You might want to go buy a hat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's 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 what I do. You know what I'm saying? I I had to cut I had to cut back on it, y'all. But y'all see right. me? I'm rocking I'm rocking my little fresh lockout man hat right now. I had to get it custom made. But yeah, I had to yeah. I had to back up on that. So that's that's what's up, man. That's what's up. At least you know, put keep a little bit of money in your pocket to to play with. Definitely have some money to put away. Uh, right. put away and that, definitely and take care out. and take care of your house exactly take care of your house man listen though let me let me ask you this man if money wasn't an option though what would you be doing if if money wasn't an option would you still be would you still be trucking yes. yeah i still be trucking or working in a non profit <laughs> trucking right. is my number one uh love all right, man. So you, um, you, uh, you, you, you had some, uh, you, 
you had some hard times. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, you, uh, you, 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 you lost your father. Um, you, mm-hmm. you, you lost, uh, you lost your leg and everything, man. Yeah, after all it, after all of that, man, what, 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 what keeps you motivated, man? What, what, what keeps you going, bro? One, my son. Uh, nine years old, um, love to hop on a truck with me and just just ride, you know. That's how I spent a lot of time as a little kid. My dad just riding. Mm-hmm. Um, but he keeps me motivated. And then, too, my dad, even though he's not here, his thing was, well, you could be dead. Exactly. So, um, just the drive from both of them um, keeps me going. That's what's up. I'm man. not going. I'm not going to say a lot to you. It's hard, but um, it's worth it. That's what's up, man. Like I said, you know, when I when I met this uh when I met this dude, you know, he uh told, you know, I don't I don't want you to go into the, you know, into the story, man. You know, I'll just uh give everybody the cliff notes. Uh mm-hmm. unfortunately my man had uh had uh what was it, a virus or something like that? That that uh uh that the you, first time infection. Yeah, first yeah, he had an infection, uh, you know, it, it it took his uh took his it took his leg, but it didn't take his ability to walk. You know what I'm saying? You know he got uh he got a prosthetic. You know he got his prosthetic leg. Now he's walking. He's doing the damn thing. Going to the gym every day and all like that. So yeah, uh, tell us uh, a little bit about your father, man. It sounds like your father was 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 an old was an old school dude. Was what, what was your father yeah. like? Robert Starr, the Texas Playboy. Texas Playboy, yeah. The Texas Playboy. Yeah. <laughs> that, that should say enough by itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he Pops said it. Good, man. Uh, Pops didn't know when to start making kids. <laughs> but... <laughs> You say but Papa. The same time, you say you say Papa was a Rolling Stone, huh? Man, Pops was fifty when I was born. What? Yeah, oh. my mom was like thirty-seven. Oh, okay, okay. But uh, Pops took care of his, his kids, man. That's what's up. Um, even though you know we were scattered across, we were still brought us together as family. Um, my father drove truck from. The time he got out the Korean War mm-hmm. till uh, about three years ago, he passed two years ago. Okay, okay. Uh, Pops was uh, rest in peace. Eighty five when he passed. Okay, uh, but hard worker um, didn't let anything stop him. Uh, but real fashionable man. That's why I like to get my dry to dress man. You, that's where you get your uh, swagger from, huh? Well, my driving and my dressing skills. Oh, okay, okay. You know, Dad was a big Stacey Adams fan. Okay. Shoes, the hat. Okay. You know, the suit. Yeah, where, yeah. Yeah, where, where, more or less, I'm a, um, you know, Ralph Lauren type of guy. One of them fashionable. Uh, like one of them fashionable yeah. drivers. Yeah, yeah, because I get out there with some stress flags with a sweater vest for the minute <laughs> with some square toe routines. That's what's I was like, up. you came out the office? <laughs> nah, I came out that truck over there, but, you know, I'm still yeah. going to keep my swagger going. I'm still going to keep my exactly. swagger going. Man, that's what's uh-huh. up, man. Pops, man, sounds like sounds like my man was, like I said, sounds like he was a hell of a dude, man, and – that's where you uh learned learned your game from. That's that's what's up. That's what a lot of these uh there's a lot of these cats, you know, we should have learned the game from our parents and all like that. You know, even though some of our parents is not all that hot, but 
You know, you get you you get that real one, and you know, like you said, you know, it sounds like you had that real one, man. So that so that's what keep you motivated. That's that's what keeps you going, man. Man, listen, <laughs> the video went out without my knowledge. Damn it, man. <laughs> well, I hope you guys uh, enjoying the video so far. Uh, for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the video, it is just going to show my podcast logo and the uh, audio feed. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this uh, audio with me and Prince. Sorry for the uh, sorry for the video going out, guys. But uh, I'll make it up to you in the next video. Thank you very much, and thank you for listening. All right, man. Yeah, so we're back. We had to take a little a little break for a second. My man had to go and get him a snack and I had to I had to change the memory card because it was full. So we had to change that. So we're right back at it, man. We're right back at it. So wow. So far, man, so far this 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 uh conversation with this man right here is real good. I enjoy talking to this man. I mean, even offline we we still got a good conversation you know whenever we uh whenever we chop it up man all right so where you so where you actually from man you said uh you mentioned Texas, but uh where where you staying at now um i just re recently located to atlanta area oh, okay you down in georgia okay how how's uh, the experience been for you down in uh georgia just me personally, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm it a country dude, man. Is it because it is it because of the is it because of the traffic? I I could tell you the reason why I don't like it, but what well, it's, it's the traffic. It's I put like this. I grew up on two hundred acres of family land. Mm -hmm. To come to the city here. It's way different than it was in Memphis. Okay, okay. It's it's too impersonal. Right. Everybody's in a rush. Right. And I just like leisurely taking my time. That's what's up, man. So, yeah. you know, coming from coming from the country to the city could be like a culture shock for a lot of people, and the same and vice versa. You 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 from the city and you going to mess with these country folks, you be like, damn. Worlds apart, worlds apart, man. All right, so uh, you know it's fine as a truck driver. Mm -hmm. You know, you get in, you get out. <laughs> You're stuck there. Yeah, you got you got to make you got to make ends. You got to make the ends meet. That's what you got to do. Yeah. All right, so uh, yo, man, so you know, with this trucking thing, as I said before, being so stressful and all like that, man. How do you how how do you plan for rest, man? I mean, what do you do on your thirty four? You, what, what do you do on your thirty four when you when you get it? Man, uh, music. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Music. Yeah. All right, all right. So you know that was that was a question that was posed with some drivers, uh, some newer drivers, some older drivers. Mm -hmm. What did you do on your thirty four hour break? Before social media and all that, mm -hmm. went to sleep. <laughs> 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 you know, rest up. You might go catch a movie or something like that, right? Um, but really, just relaxing. You know, it wasn't impersonal. Well, that's what's up, man. That that's what's up. All right, so what do what? What do you what do you see for yourself now, man? What, what's your vision? You got any uh, you got any you got any more plans for this trucking thing, or or you still uh you you, you still you still in it, right? You still running your company? Man, lockout, lockout, man. You know I always got my hand involved in trucking. Okay, that's what's up. That's um, what's up. Not re not releasing too much. Right, right. Um, I still plan to get behind the wheel. But as of right now, I'm working on something real big. Okay. Um, okay. That's gonna have um, a lot of money behind it. 
Well, I tell you what, you don't have to go into details about it now, man. But you know, definitely come back at me so we can uh, so we can get that out, you know, and promote it for you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I would love I would love to get you back on to uh, promote it. But uh, before I let you go, man, uh, yo, tell us about that crazy story where where everybody got together and uh, and, and found that found that truck, man. What well, what happened man. with that? You know the dude actually called me probably what? about maybe three months ago. What? I hope you ain't give him his job back, bro. Man, I'm about to give him the rest of his foot. <laughs> <laughs> so what? What happened, yeah. man? What What happened with that? Man, paid old boy, mm -hmm. and uh, he wants to get high. Didn't, didn't know he passed drug test Thursday. Mm -hmm. Had been clean, but um, snuck off with uh, his uh, five piece man, and they went through fifteen hundred dollars. Wow! And um, he dislocated the tracking system on the truck. Mm -hmm. Tried to uh, to sell the load, but it was uh, so big and bulky, couldn't do so. Man, this dude. It took probably about what a week to find it. Man, this sounds like this dude tried to put you in financial ruins, man. Yeah, then like he didn't do it. So it took uh it took everybody in a in in the Zello groups to to come together. Uh, who was the who was the one driver that actually uh laid eyes on it? And actually Mel. Uh, recovered the truck. Yeah, Mel. Okay. Um, yeah. Shout out. Shout out to Mel. She actually. Um, she no no. It was Mel, and it was also um, um, down in Houston. What's her What's her name? Um, Kayla. Okay, Kayla. Oh man, that's oh yeah, yeah, Kayla. Oh, that's my girl right there. I gotta definitely get her yeah. one too. I gotta definitely get her one, man. Kayla. Woo. Okay, so Kayla and those ladies uh, right there, man. Shout out to those ladies, man. How how was uh how was it that they was able to to lay eyes on the truck? What how how was they able to do that? Um, you know what? Just using our heads, thinking where the guy lives, what's mm -hmm. around him. Mm -hmm. Because in, in cases like that, people seem to go to familiar places. Right. That, that they're used to. Now, we knew he was at home, mm -hmm. but his girl didn't know he was at home. Mm. Okay, okay. So he wasn't going to be too far. Um, checking the truck stops, and then, uh, two, I end up having a um, backup system. Okay. That was hidden on the truck that I had to call the uh, manufacturer to get them to, to trace it. Okay, okay. And um, the ladies went over and rolled by and laid eyes on the truck. And then um, Mel, man, I love her, man. Okay. New York to the fullest. <laughs> you say New York to the fullest, huh? New York to the fullest, strong island, baby. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but uh, she basically went over and grabbed the truck, man, and uh, and and went on ahead and got it back for you. You got anybody? Uh, you got anybody driving the truck now, or you you just uh you you just laying back in the cut right now? I'm laying back in the cut, man. I got rid of the truck. Oh, okay. Um, right now, I, I don't have any trucks. Okay. Uh, but still working closely with uh, a few people to help them uh, try to keep their stuff moving. Uh, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Hey, I, 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 I got another question for you, man, before we get up. Come um, on. Man, what is something about trucking that people don't appreciate, man? What do you, what do you, what do you think? What's your opinion on that? The grind. Right, I agree. They you definitely know, you, don't appreciate the grind. Right, you know you today being Black Friday. 
Mm-hmm. You want your stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, what? you need your stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But when you see a driver going down the road, you want to do stupid stuff. Mm-hmm. Preach, man. Like Preach. cutting the driver off. Preach. Oh, come. Amen, man. You come know, on. Come on, these, man. These customers want to be mean to the drivers, but want your stuff to get to the store. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on with it, bro. You know, it's, uh, you know, the hustle flow said it's hard out here for a pimp, but it's hard out here for a driver. It's hard out here for a trucker. They need, we, we need a, we need a song. Yo, yo, Terrence Howard, make, make that, make that pimp in the, <laughs> in the, in the trucker and we got something going. Preach, brother. Yeah, man. man. It's, it's, it's hard, man. Um, people don't realize the sacrifice that drivers make being away from their family and their homes. And I just um, I just made a video about sacrifices, man. Yeah. See y'all this, y'all one of the y'all y'all, jobs. y'all you guys don't understand. He he just co signed for me. Sacrifices, I'm telling you. Go ahead. And see, I hadn't even seen the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, but sacrifice, man, kind of jumping back to what we first talked about, how what drivers talk about with covenant. Mm-hmm. That was a big sacrifice with that job is being away from home mm-hmm. for, you know, at the time they were doing 21 days. And like I said, you wouldn't even see the house. That's a big sacrifice not to see your kids, your wives, your husbands, but living out of a suitcase. That that was a drastic change for me from being at home every day, going in, hitting the clock. To waking up in a different city every day, from getting that from 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 the seat to the bunk. That's that's it. Yes, sometimes sir. that's it. From the seat to the bunk. That is that is it, man. That is it. All right, man. Well, hey, bro, I appreciate you coming on, man. Talking, you know, chopping it up with me, sharing your experience and everything, man. And definitely, I want you to come back on when 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 you get that big. The, the big deal that you got coming. You know what I'm saying? Definitely want to come come back on and uh help you uh promote that, man. Hey, you uh you 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 have an IG you want people to you want people to go to your IG or your or your IG is kind of like hold on. I think your IG. I don't my, even, I don't my nine year old teach me how to use IG. <laughs> <laughs> so just imagine what that is. <laughs> All right. But no, so, it's um you you can follow me on um Facebook, um Prince Star Senior. All right, hold on very quick. Facebook. I'm trying to bring it on up. All right, and type in there P R I. There you go, Prince Star Senior, Twin City Transport. All right, all right, brother man. So I definitely uh hit these photos of you right quick. All right, yeah man, yeah man. This uh this uh this my dude right here. Oh, you in that uh? Oh, this is doing your football time. The the number ninety one. Who you who you? Yeah, that was my high school number, but that was actually three years ago. All right, this show. Oh, okay, this show. This your pops right here, man. Definitely, I see. I see the swagger. I see the yeah, argyle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I see you right here with. Uh, I see you right here with. Uh, God damn it, man. She's gonna be mad at me because I forgot her name. Damn it, man. I, I had, a, I had a lapse in memory for that second. How can I forget this young lady right here, Nikki Pointer Lockout, man. Her name is Nikki Pointer. <laughs> Can't forget that name. Wow. Nikki Pointer. As a matter of fact, guys, stay tuned for this young lady's interview. She will be coming up soon. <laughs> wow. I know, right? She is going to. Yeah, Nikki. Nikki. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's what I said. Boy, she's, she's, shut she, up. You know what I said, right? She's gonna be mad at me. <laughs> okay, I see. Uh, I see you with uh, Stephen B. Right here. Look like y'all was at Detroit. So this your son? Okay, okay. Yeah, y'all look. Y'all look just well, alike. Probably. Y'all look yeah, just that's alike. PS2. Okay, I see y'all at now. This picture right here, this group picture, look like you with uh, Sheree. You're with uh, Diva Trucker. 
What uh, what truck yeah, show? That which, was what this was a Dallas truck show. Was this uh this year or last year? That was um last year. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that was eighteen. Okay. Yeah, I see. Got another uh, got another group picture right here with uh with the she trucking. All right, man. So yeah, like I said, man. Thanks for coming on. I really do appreciate it, man. Hey, so guys, if you guys like content like this and more, man, shout out to my man Prince Star. I really appreciate him coming on. Yo, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this, man. Yo, I am your humble host, Lockout Man. You could definitely check this out on YouTube, of course, and then uh, check it out on my podcast, which I am live on iTunes. I think it's Apple Music, but uh, Google Podcasts and my favorite one, Anchor. Definitely Anchor dot fm backslash lockout man definitely go and subscribe to that and y'all can catch uh catch podcast daily or weekly or whenever i decide to to throw it out see i'm a truck driver i'm i'm, I'm just too busy out here you know what i'm saying when time permits when time permits tba <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tba all right man so like i said i appreciate you coming on man i really do uh uh great story man you know you're 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 a good dude somebody that uh definitely i'd rather hang out with and all like that so so thanks for coming on man all right guys i want to thank you guys so so much for joining me on this episode of lockout men podcast if you guys is interested in coming on to the show and sharing your experience definitely hit me up in the gmail at lockout men podcast at gmail all right again that email is lockout men podcast all one word at gmail.com Okay, I really do appreciate you guys for listening. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the, I'll see you again in the next podcast video. Peace.